safety tools by Evil Hat are mechanisms that promote clear communication and give players tools to address problems as they occur. Even if these tools are never used, it often puts players at ease to know that everyone in the game is committed to respecting people's experience at the table. In this video, we'll show you how to use these safety tools and then how to add them to your game. If you're familiar with the safety tools and want to see how to add them to your game and set them up, check the timestamp in the description. So what is the X card? An X card edits out the current scene's content with no questions asked. This puts an immediate stop to the action. So at any point during the game, if a player or GM finds that they are uncomfortable with the subject matter or actions happening in the game, they can drop an X card. There are a few other ways to use the X card, so check out the link in the description below. So you might be thinking, well, what's the difference between an X card and a script change? Well, unlike the X card, script changes are not hard stops and offer more flexibility for certain situations. Let's take a look. If someone plays fast forward, this skips over a part of a scene. This allows you to skip the part that's making you or your player uncomfortable and then continuing on where you left off. When frame by frame is dropped, the scene is played with great care. Go ahead and pause and check in with each other when this card's played. Instant replay allows you to relish in a great moment or clarify details. This can be used to reward great play or to go over something again to avoid confusion. Playing pause gives the players a quick breather before continuing the scene without any changes. This is great if the last scene has a lot of story or a big emotional impact. Use the resume card to return to play after you've called a break. You might use this after a food or bathroom break or if the pause card was used. Rewind backs up a scene to revise the content. This is different from instant replay because you are actually going back in the scene to change something rather than review it. Use all these tools in the best way that fits your table. If you want to learn more about script change cards, check out the description below. Another great tool included in this add-on is the palette page. You can access it by clicking on the blue page toolbar at the top of the game screen. Now, so both you and your players can see this page, drag the red players banner to the palette page, then click on the page. Here you'll find the game creation palette, a place where you and your group can list things you're excited about and things you'd prefer not to explore. This is a great place to list some lines and veils. Lines are hard limits that you and your players don't want to explore in game. And veils is subject matter that you're okay with being in the story, but you would prefer it not to be front and center or in detail. This is a way to still deal with certain themes without having them become the main focus. Encourage your players to fill out this page so you can all play the best game for each of you. If you want to learn more about lines and veils, check out the link in the description. Setting up the cards and macros. If you want to use cards, simply hover over the safety tools deck at the bottom right corner of the screen and click choose. Your cards will appear. Now, simply drag the card you want over to the game board. If you want to get rid of a card, select it and hit delete. If you want to turn off or on card decks and use the macros instead, go to the top right corner of your screen, click the collection icon, scroll down and click hide next to the safety tool deck. Great, that was easy. Now to set up macros, just scroll up a little and simply check the box of each card you want to have as a button on screen. They will appear in the bottom left corner of your screen. Note, each player will need to do this individually for themselves. Now, when you or your players click the buttons at the bottom, the cards will show up directly in chat. And that's it. You're now ready to use the safety tools add-on in your game. Hopefully these will be helpful for your table and will help you have the best game experience you can.